Still on the IDP protest in Major Group Plus TV Africa spoke to some analysts on our newspaper review program of the press where they offered their perspective about the protest. Independent investigation of what is going on. Mm. If you put people in a camp so they're not working, they're not you, it, it presumes that you must feed them, you must provide them with the basic necessities to keep life going. Mm. And if that is not being, I mean, we, we know how things work in our society. The truth is that you might have a situation in which the provisions are there. Some people have decided to corner those provisions and it doesn't get to where it's supposed to go to, to get to. We know that too. You know, uh -huh. So mm. a, a proper investigation to address I mean, these people cannot just wake up. They are not mad people now. They can't just wake up and hit the road and say Come they are protesting. They are it's, 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 so somebody must pay attention to what is going on there. Mm. To, that's, that's the reality. To further, to further uh, put a finger on that, I think there was a daily, there was a very credible daily. Who, we did a, an underground investigation some time back about the situation in IDP. The situation in the IDP comes as it's being presented as so sad. I remember even the bags of rice incidents yes, exactly, as well. Yes, exactly, exactly. To be quite frank, they're so sad. Because these are people who are displaced, and these are funds that are being voted from not just, not just anybody, but international donor agencies for, for, for food for them.